Once upon a chilling autumn night, nestled deep within the foreboding woods, stood an ominous mansion cloaked in shadows. Locals spoke of it in hushed tones, referring to it as the Ravencrest Manoran ancient abode. Shrouded in mystery and whispered tales of the supernatural, three curious souls, bound by a dare and fueled by the thrill of the unknown, decided to venture into the heart of Ravencrest Manor. Sarah, a fearless adventurer with a penchant for the paranormal, led the group. Mark, the skeptic, and then there was Emily, the timid artist, who reluctantly joined in the hopes of conquering her fears. As the trio crossed the threshold into the dimly lit foyer, a bone-chilling wind slammed the door shut behind them. The air within seemed to thicken with an otherworldly presence, and the creaking floorboards beneath their feet echoed through the desolate halls. The group cautiously explored room after room, each filled with dusty relics of a forgotten time. Unseen whispers echoed through the corridors and distant moans sent shivers down their spines. Sarah, ever the intrepid investigator, brandished a flashlight and declared that they should venture into the basement the epicenter of the mansion's haunted reputation. Descending a creaking staircase, the trio found themselves in a cold, damp chamber. The flickering light of Sarah's flashlight revealed ancient, dusty furniture and cobwebs that hung like spectral drapes. In a forgotten corner, an antique piano played itself a haunting melody that seemed to echo the pain of a bygone era. Emily's trembling hand reached out to touch the keys, only to recoil as icy finger seemed to brush against hers. As fear tightened its grip on the trio, Mark, the once adamant skeptic, paled. Unseen hands brushed against his neck and a disembodied voice whispered sinister secrets into his ear. Sarah, undeterred, attempted to communicate with the spirits through an old Ouija board she discovered nearby. But the planchette moved with a will of its own, spelling out ominous messages. In a desperate bid to escape the encroaching darkness, the three raced back through the manors. Winding halls pursued by ghostly apparitions and malevolent forces. The oppressive atmosphere seemed to claw at their sanity. Until, at last, they burst through the mansion's heavy doors into the cool night air. As the trio caught their breath, they realized the haunting specter of Ravencrest Manor had left an indelible mark on their souls. The once skeptical Mark now stared wide-eyed into the night, haunted by the inexplicable events within. Emily clutched her sketchbook, ready to immortalize the horrors she witnessed. And Sarah, the feeler's leader, admitted that some mysteries were best left unsolved. Ravencrest Manor, with its secrets and tormented spirits, remained standing in the shadows, waiting for the next group of brave souls foolish enough to explore its haunted halls. Kindly show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to enjoy daily freshly brewed content with Miss Coffee.